everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Frills here. Today we're talking about fungus, everyone's favorite topic. Did you know that 10% of the entire population is affected by fungus? Now, fast forward to age 60, that number increases to 20% of all people. And then add 10 more years, you're 70 years old, 50% of all people are affected with fungus. That's a lot. All right, so what exactly is fungus? Well, fungus on the nail is called onychomycosis. The particular fungi that affect the nail are called dermatophytes. These dermatophytes get into the nail. They cause that thickening, yellowing, and all kinds of discoloration. Essentially, that particular microbe affects the nail. However, you can get yeast, you can get mold, all kinds of things that not only cause the nail to appear green or change the color, it can cause the thickening again. I mean, all kind of works together and they love, 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 love a moist environment. So what does fungus look like? It can become thicker, it can become yellow, it can become dark brown, black. You can get white little dots on the surface of the skin after you've had your nails polished, um, a lot of women will remove the nail polish and think, oh, that's from the nail polish. Well, in fact, it's not. That's stage one or the beginning signs of superficial white onychomycosis or AKA fungus. Uh, outside of that, it can cause your nails to be very brittle. It uh, creates a lot of layering. So they de-layer and they tend to be crumbly. They kind of just take on this appearance of what is this? When it doesn't look like a normal nail, likely it's fungus. However, trauma must always, always be uh, ruled out prior to treating what we appear and think is fungus. So how do we treat nail fungus? Well, there are many, many different options. And honestly, we look at the nail and we determine what, I guess, how severe it is. So if you have something more surface, there are topical products uh, to include the pharmacy Jublia or Penlac. Sadly, these products are only about 16% effective. We offer in our office and through uh, my Mod Pod line something called Repair because I wanted to merge all of these really potent uh, ingredients together. So the key ingredient with this, with Repair, as opposed to just an over-the-counter topical, it has urea in it. Urea is great to thin out the nail. Um, thinning out the nail is going to help also anything that we're doing and adding topically to uh, kill the fungus at a greater rate because it's not so thick. You know, when it's really thick, it's hard to break that barrier. Um, not only that, it's stuffed with two different uh, antifungals, clotramazole and then um, a natural one, tea tree oil, which everyone's heard of. So that's your topical option if it's surface. Now, as you move through um, the stages of fungus, you need to get more aggressive with your treatment. To include, um, there's oral antifungals, but I think everyone's heard all the scary stories about oral antifungals. Sadly, that affects your liver, and a lot of patients aren't even candidates for that. So if you're on a cholesterol medication, or perhaps that you've had some type of other liver issue, um, then you're definitely not a candidate. We just can't risk it. So outside of oral Lamisil, we offer laser therapy. Laser therapy is way more effective, way safer, um, essentially, there's no downtime. It'll come in and out. It takes about 10 minutes, uh, depending on the number of nails. But we essentially target the nail itself and promote circulation. We're going to target the root of the nail to produce a new healthy nail. Now, sometimes when the nails are so thick, we actually have to remove the nail first. Now, that's not all the time, and we only do it when we have to. However, it makes the treatment and the outcome way more effective. So outside of topicals, oral medication, laser therapy, that pretty much covers all your treatment options for nail fungus. I know there are some home treatments out there. I get everything from, I just soaked my feet in bleach, to I do vinegar soaks, to solely using tea tree oil. Um, that alone is not going to affect, um, or I guess positively affect your fungal toenails if it's progressed too far. Um, and, and sadly, there's just no science to really back any of that up. My grandpa used to recommend uh, using Vicks uh, Vapo Rub or Salve to the nail, and that basically just softened the nail. And hopefully, the nail would just kind of fall off, which people thought, well, my nails are getting better, they're looking better. Um, sure, that's the case. It's going to help, but it's not going to be a definitive 100% cure for your nail. Are you tired of living with foot pain or discomfort? 
it's time to step into relief. At Lexington Podiatry, we're passionate about getting you back on your feet. Don't let another day pass by. Book an appointment with our foot care experts today. Call us now or visit our website. Your feet will thank you. All right, so now you've gotten rid of fungus or you're trying not to get fungus. How do you prevent fungal toenail infections? So definitely, if you're prone to sweating, we need to get that under control. So there are topicals um, that you can get online or there are prescriptions that you can get at the pharmacy, but you've got to reduce the fungal load on your skin. Washing your feet with an antifungal soap called Clean. That is also from our Mod Pod line. Um, everything we wanted to do was just antifungal because fungus is hard to get rid of and it's hard to stay gone, especially those people that work on their feet in factories and things like that. So change your socks out um, at lunchtime. That would be ideal. Make sure you're wearing breathable shoes. Anything to allow that aeration is going to help uh, remove the fungus or just kind of keep it from baking into your shoes. Um, outside of that, you know, again, washing your feet, changing your socks, making sure you're not sweating excessively. And if you are, you know, wear moisture wicking socks or something to pull that moisture off, you really want to make sure you kind of air your feet out at the end of the day, just to kind of dry them up would be ideal. Also definitely don't go barefoot in public. That is really a really high risk for picking up any type of toenail fungus. Uh, and you should look at the video I have where a gentleman walked in the gym, younger guy, the complete bottom of his foot is like almost rotting off because of an athlete's foot infection that he got. I've even had to do surgery on patients that have gotten athlete's foot infections um, and they get bacterial infections. You know, in between the toes, it gets very moist and can whiten or macerate. And that allows a very uh, easy entry portal for the uh, bacteria, also the fungus that's in the area to insert itself right there and that sadly is a little more of aggressive treatment surgically that we have to do so prevention is key making sure that your environment is clean reduce again the fungal load that's in everyone's shoes you can sterilize your shoes you can spray something called fresh which is an antifungal antibacterial and it kind of kills the fungus in there because you've got to get it out of your environment lastly um just looking at your nail care in general making sure if you want to go get pedicures, making sure that they're autoclaving their instruments. Um, a lot of pedicures sadly just use cold sterile. Um, that is a timed issue. Also, I've seen them reuse gloves, so be very careful. Uh, honestly, whenever you're going to get a pedicure bee, look for ones that definitely have the liners. You don't want anything where that water's kind of pumping through because the fungus loves to live in the rungs of that, um, the jet. So just making sure, yes, keep your nails nice and clean, shaped, thinned out. But at the first sign you see a fungus, I mean, honestly, it's best to just jump on it to get rid of it. Otherwise, it just continues to build and thicken and get worse. All right, don't forget, now that you've got all these tips and tricks, take care of your nails, wash the moisture on your feet, any signs of thickening discoloration, any red flags going off, grab a topical immediately and start trying to get rid of it. Um, but if it starts to progress, or maybe you're watching this video and you're like, you know what, it's kind of too late for the um, for a topical or something like that, then you need to call your local podiatrist. Call us. We are experts in fungus. I swear I treat this 18 times a day. Um, we have several lasers to uh, knock it out, and it's honestly... Once you get your game plan and your daily routine, it's quite easy, but you need to have a professional look to see what is the best plan for you. A lot of people are just buying all this crap from um, you know, Target or Walmart, and it's just not working, and it won't work. So have one conversation with your podiatrist, and we can get you set up for the future so you don't have to worry about this. And we can also talk a lot about prevention and really look at you and your feet to see what's causing you to have this fungus. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Dr. Frills here. Remember, if you like how-tos, product reviews, lots of patient education, procedure discussions, and shoe shopping guidance, please follow along. Now don't forget, subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications.